Hello everyone and welcome to a Pony Bash iconic muscle car that definitely excites most of you which is the Ford Mustang GT and not just the normal Ford Mustang but to make it extra special this is a convertible Ford Mustang GT so in today's video we're going to be finding out everything in detail about this Mustang GT convertible but before we move forward please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscription button and make sure to press that bell icon and leave all the notifications on so that way you will never miss any video updates from my channel it's only 36 degrees and it's not that hot and it's just slightly windy that's about it <laughs> Well, it's highly unlikely that you haven't seen a Mustang before on the road. So, um, yeah, you pretty much know how a Mustang looks. But yeah, let me still show you a bit of details out here. So you get big glossy grill out here in this glossy black plastic and this pony badging in the chrome and this meshed grill out here. At the bottom, you find just the normal plastic out here. Yeah, I wish that was also glossy because that would have looked nicer out here the same design of the grill and a splitter which is again normal plastic yeah that also would have been nicer if it was yeah black because this car also comes with the black pack which is an optional black pack and there are also vents out here which you will see they are again in the normal plastic surround but these vents are real and they they channel air and sort of you know move it around around the the, the car so yeah that way there are also these vents which are given on the bonnet or the hood and the vents actually do have some purpose because they they are actually a functional vent so air goes in here and then channels it out here which is why you get a shape out here on the bonnet itself there are lines and creases out here when you come to the headlights this is a completely led headlight cluster there are also drls which are in led on the side and the headlight itself has a good bit of design out here i'm sorry if there is a lot of wind because yeah there is actually a lot of wind which has just picked up like just a few minutes ago but yeah anyways bear with me and at the bottom you would see uh, another set of uh, turning lights out here which also remains on and it can even convert into the turning light and there are also fog lights right next to it small ones which are given out here on the sides you get 19 inch black color aluminium rims yeah which is again a part of the black pack which is why you get the glossy black version out here there's a 5.0 badging so this mustang is the proper v8 5 liter engine what it's got and it's also got the black color badging out here even the side mirrors they are blacked out again the optional black pack which is why you get them in black glossy ones and these are non power foldable but power adjustable side mirrors they also have the blind spot warning inside it there's also a turn signal inside them this black convertible fabric roof i'm gonna show you the convertible roof feature also in a bit the doors are smart keyless entry door handles there is also a mustang badging on the door sills along with the pony badging and that mustang badging is also illuminated and not just that you can even keep changing the colors depending on the mood lights that you change from inside so that badge will also keep changing the color and yeah accordingly to the interior lights there is also a pony badging which illuminates at night yeah really good attention to details out here and the usual ford mustang shape like lines going out here and even on the back there's this optional black color spoiler which has been given small lip spoiler and again in the back 19 inch aluminium rims and let me come to the most important feature which is the convertible feature so in order to do that i get in the car and it's not windy at all now i switch on the car you know that we had come to life and there is a lever out here so you first unlock the roof and then press the button on the roof which lowers these windows and then yeah it takes about 11 seconds for the roof to fold down yeah i think it's way faster than that because yeah when i was just demonstrating it literally went and then you actually start to appreciate the shape of this mustang because boy it looks really beautiful in this setup yeah and perfect day <laughs> yeah a little cooler would have been nicer but yeah it still looks pretty amazing and it's also quite easy to just fold it up but the only problem is these windows once they roll down they don't roll up 
when the roof has been you know folded up so yeah once that is completed you lock it in place and then you have to manually close the windows now in the rear the shape is also pretty similar to the hardtop version so you get led tail light cluster out here these individual lights which are given and there are, these are also the turning lights itself so they are the sequential turning lights there is also the black color gt badging out here on this black plastic glossy one and there is also another brake light which has been given in terms of the visibility it's actually i mean restricted the solution to that is to just lower the yeah roof and then you get visibility all across but yeah it should be cool also that's the case but yeah if you're going to be keeping the roof up then yeah it's a little restricted in that case and not just that when the roof is folded down there are also some panels which are given inside the boot i'm going to show you that so you basically fit those panels out here because the mechanism is quite exposed that way when the convertible roof is down and in order to cover that up you put those plastic bits out here and then you cover that so the dust and you know, all of that stuff doesn't go inside and basically ruin the mechanism out there and at the bottom you would find a normal blacked out plastic which is just normal plastic and that's a diffuser which has been given there is also quad exhaust tips on both the sides so dual tips on both the sides and they look absolutely fantastic and big ones and not just that they have valves too so you put the car uh, the exhaust system in the race mode boy it sounds incredible in fact have a listen to this exhaust system Now after you heard the American V8 rumble let's continue and show you the boot space on this Mustang so in this setting you can put 332 liters of luggage which is all right i wouldn't say it's the best but yeah it's decent enough to put your one big bag or two small bags inside the boot and also it's quite deep that way so yeah there's fair bit of lip out here there are also scruff plates plastic ones which are given so that you don't damage your bumper it's actually quite deep which is why the lifting and you know removing of the bag is going to be a little bit of a task that way and the panels which i was showing you all are these so you may just think that you know this car has something broken which is what i thought for the first 5 minutes then i figured out that these were the panels to put on those convertible roof mechanism so yeah that's been given right out here in the boot there is also a spare wheel a temporary spare wheel which has been given so yeah in case you get stuck somewhere you can put that temporary spare wheel and then figure the way out there are also not many tying points out here although there is lots of small storage spaces but yeah i wish there were some more tying points so you can secure your luggage out here and there is this one more interesting feature which is this lever which has been given there is like a like a symbol drawn on it which says in case someone puts you in the boot you can so this is like a release mechanism for the boot from inside in case someone puts you in there and locks you up so you can pull this and come out of it it's also like quite written out there and it's also a glow in dark so yeah no one's going to trap you in there <laughs> although it's just i don't understand why one someone would trap you in there so the iconic design of the mustang on the interior is also continued even on this latest generation for example these air conditioning vents three ones in particularly just three vents are borrowed from the old uh, mustang and even the dashboard styling a little bit here and there but yeah they've tried to keep it as original and as related to the the old mustang as possible there is also this mustang badging out here on the dashboard and there are lots of mustang badges around like on the steering wheel and everywhere so in general the quality of material inside is kind of decent but yeah there is a lot of plastics that they have used but the dashboard itself is soft touch with the white stitching even out here soft touch the door cards yeah they are pretty long and they are also soft touch yeah as it they should be because yeah they actually give you a little bit of comfort during the longer journey we are going to be resting hands that's also uh, soft and then there are these chrome 
door handles and the handle itself and yeah lots of chrome bits also that they have provided out here it's just normal plastic even at the bottom there is soft like leather but yeah where the gear lever is that's where a little bit of harder plastic has been used out here hand rest again that is soft leather covered so yeah mix of plastic and soft touch materials that has been provided on the on the mustang convertible and this particular steering wheel is what i like because it's really soft and yeah quite decent to hold although it's a little big for my hands and my size also but yeah i like how soft and delicate it is there are also mood lights which are given in these door opening handles yeah just tiny ones and not just that even inside the footwell and the mustang badging that i mentioned so yeah I, i wish there was like a strip out here on both the doors that would have looked very cool but yeah maybe something for the next generation that way there's also this aluminium style plastic trim which has been given resembles like that so we yeah, are brushed aluminium look that has been given when you come to the driver's display you get a 12 inch digital display now and you get on the left side your rev counter and on the right side your speedometer and information in between those two dials you are you can see which mode you are in and what gears and the digital speed and everything and in the center you can see your information about your trip which you can see and then you can see your fuel economy what you're doing your tire pressure and then you can leave it blank if you want and not just that there are lots of buttons i mean lots of buttons which are given on the steering wheel i'm going to come to that but the different settings for the exhaust system the driving modes the steering and all of that information is being shown on your display itself so there is this pony logo on your steering wheel like a button which has been given so when you press that you can go into the my mode where you can customize your different driving modes which is the my mode one of that and then there is the exhaust mode so when you go inside the exhaust mode that's where you will find the quiet normal sport and when i put it in the race mode yeah it just immediately changes the tone because those valves open up and then you go back there's track app so you have specific track apps for your acceleration brake performance line lock lap timer your start option if you want to do 0 to 100 measure that there are gauges option so you can configure your gauges also to show you different information in the center so when you switch that on in the center those gauges pop up and there are three different gauges that show you different bit of information in the center that's again digitally so when you go out you you can go to the next option which is your my color so in that you will have the primary color on your digital display then the secondary color which is like those lines and everything and there's also ambient light which you can change from here then you can create your own colors then there is the cluster appearance which you can change like normal there's also sport and then there is also the race track mode so if you want to always keep it on or just better to leave it with change with the drive mode so whenever you are going to be changing it to different drive modes yeah you can Uh, the the cluster appearance would change accordingly but yeah it's just that the cluster itself has a lot of lines and dashes and stuff which makes it a little cluttered sometimes and a little difficult to read that's what i find yeah if there was some button which would make it a little more minimalistic yeah that would just you know enhance the look of this driver's display as well but yeah so far yeah they have given the digital one i'm pretty sure they will move into that direction and keep refining that digital drivers display also now when you come to the steering wheel this is a leather covered soft steering wheel which is slightly bigger and there are also plastic paddle shifters out here because there are 10 gear gear box that you get on this mustang so yeah good luck changing so many gears out here and this steering wheel is manually adjustable which is your tilt and telescopic so you can adjust both and lock it in and on the right side there are controls for your so many controls actually so there are controls for your digital drivers display that you can change there is also the various setting mode so there is also a setting button which has been given on the on the steering wheel itself when you press that you can go inside the drivers display and then you can change the trip and for computer driver assistant speedometer then there is the advanced settings in which there is vehicle settings and when you go out there is my key the display settings and all of those settings also that you can change from here so that's the setting button and the pony button and then there are also infotainment control buttons which are given navigation buttons so when you press that you are you can see a compass on your driver's display so that also and 
on the left side there are again buttons for your entertainment system you can control the volume and track change and everything on top and at the bottom there is buttons for your adaptive cruise control which has been given on this one so yeah lots of buttons which have been given there is also this chrome pony badging in the center with a chrome ring around it when you come to the air conditioning control straightforward button operated system has been given then in the center there is the on off button and then in the center itself there is also the fan speed button there are also dials on both the sides like which go up and down so you can change the temperature in here so you get dual zone air conditioning system on this mustang convertible then there are more buttons on both the sides for your heated and cool seats which is what you get on this mustang as well and also the information is also see uh, shown on the infotainment screen when you are changing the temperature so all of that information is right there on your infotainment screen not just that you can go from your infotainment screen and control the climate control in case the button stop working or if you are someone who likes unnecessarily to make your life complicated and then use the infotainment system so you can do that as well so you can change the temperature and everything in here like yeah you can change the fan speed you can even change the direction of air then you can go in the menu and then you can see your max speed and ac speed and everything so yeah you can change that as well and then you can come back into the home screen so yeah that's the air conditioning control for you at the bottom there are more buttons which are given they are actually like switches so for the longest time i was just wondering where the emergency stop signal button is because usually it's mounted somewhere out here or somewhere out here or somewhere right next to where the driver can access but out here it's given under those air conditioning control it's like a switch so when you press that when there's one more cool feature is that when these parking lights or when your turning lights are switched on you get the sound of a horse sort of walking if you hear it i don't know if you can hear it but yeah that's the sound it makes there is also the traction control button there is also the button for your steering to make it hard soft on the move if you want to do that without changing the driving modes there is also the driving mode button so there are a lot of driving modes that you get on this mustang so you get the normal mode then you get the my mode the sport plus mode the race track then there is the snow or the wet mode and then you come back to the normal mode which quietens things down and makes everything normal and there is also the engine start stop button which is again a little on the lower side so i've accidentally also hit sometimes that button also and then you yeah, know my car just switched off after that now when you come to this infotainment screen this is an 8 inch sort of tft kind of display which has been given and it's a pretty simplified infotainment screen it looks rather quite simple i think now it's the time that you know it gets a little bit of upgrade also because in terms of the option this pretty straightforward on your main screen you have the audio option the compass your connect phone option then you have the main audio option where you go in and then you can change from your radio to your bluetooth connection and everything so in terms of the connection you can connect to this infotainment system using bluetooth there's also usb and there is also android auto and apple car play but both are wired versions and after we continue there is also the climate button then there is the phone button if you're connected to the phone you will see that all those options then there is the inbuilt navigation system which is rather decent i would say but yeah you still have the android auto and the apple carplay so most likely you're going to be using the google map there's also mobile apps that's the option and then the detail settings option in which you can change your sound bluetooth phone radio mobile apps general wifi and so many other options that you have android auto apple carplay all of that so on this ford mustang convertible you get 12 speaker bang and olufsen sound system and there are also buttons which are given for your infotainment control so there is like a volume dial and a tuner dial which has been given and buttons in the center so to switch the system on and off directly from here so yeah straightforward very easy and yeah it's a very simplified although a little smaller sometimes this uh, screen feels cuz there's a lot of when you are driving it's a little far ergonomically so a little bigger and a little narrow to the driver would be easier to operate as well now when you come to the storage on this mustang there's a little limited amount of uh, storage which is what i find so you can put like half a liter worth of bottle in the door cart and some more storage on the sides so and not just that there's a storage are inside the door so when you push something yeah you're possibly going to be missing those items right out there so make sure to check there also cuz some of the items may just disappear and yeah that's kind of in there in the 
door cards there is also this glove box which is given which is kind of decent size and it's also a lockable one so you can lock it if you have something more important stuff which is being kept inside there is also this small storage out here in which you can put your keys and stuff yeah it's also got this tray rubber one which you can remove and then yeah clean it and then put it back and there are also two cup holders which are uh, given out here which are flexible ones they also have the mood lights inside them so at night you can see your drinks where they are and there is also this center armrest tiny one which is given which stores about yeah your wallet phones and stuff and everything out here so yeah that's the small one which has been given there's also the handbrake a traditional one which is like kind of a very happy sight to see because nowadays you have electronic brakes so on this you still get this proper lever type of handbrake now in terms of the charging you get one normal usb port and one 12 volt power socket which has been given underneath the air conditioning controls and there's also one more usb port and also one 12 volt power socket which is given in the center armrest the sun visors though they are slim that way but they are slidable so yeah this door is still pretty long but yeah nonetheless you still get the slidable sun visor when you come to the seats these are black color leather seats which are perforated and they have the white stitching in here but yeah the seat could be a little more comfortable which is what i find and not just that the adjustability of the seat is also you feel like you're sitting quite raised up a little more if they can go down you would properly get that feeling of driving like a muscle car or a sport car kind of feeling but otherwise yeah you still do sit quite high up and there is ample of support underneath the thighs that way is pretty good even the side support that is also pretty decent although these seats are quite huge i will say because i feel a little tiny in these seats that way when i am sitting the driver side seat is six way electronically adjustable and the rear adjustment the backrest that is manual so there's a lever given for that while the passenger side seat is six way electronically adjustable and the rear backrest it is again mechanically adjustable so the ford mustang also comes with the rear seats and in order to show you a proper demonstration of the rear seats i have folded the roof down so you can get a better look of how the space is out here so in order to fold these seats there are lever given out here so you can fold the driver and the passenger seat you can pull and let me show you again so you can pull them and then you can slide them ahead and then get in or out from here because these doors are long so there's decent amount of space to get in and out and there are also hooks given on the headrest where you can i don't know hang your your suit or something which is why it has been given so let me put this seat back because obviously this is not in my driving position so when i put this seat in my driving position um, it's starting to crush my legs so i'm not going to do that as you can see there is literally like quite minimum space or nothing for the rear passengers so that brings me to the point that you cannot actually make someone sit here because though these seats are like the bucket shaped seats and they have the black color leather in here with the white stitching sort of perforated to continue that design and also seat belts which is pretty optimistic so there is like all of that stuff given but you cannot sit here the, the best that you can do is have smaller kids sit here who would be you know willing to fold their legs and sit out here but otherwise yeah there is literally no space and uh, there's also a fair bit of tunnel out here like a huge one because it's a rear wheel drive car there's also a hump in the middle and even out here so these are more like the sporty kind of setup even in the rear seats and the the best that you can do is someone from the passenger side if they are okay to just get push the seat ahead a little bit then you can have someone out here but on the driver side because there is so limited space so yeah there is not much that you can do there is also a cut out out here in the seat but yeah that doesn't solve anything or you know serve any purpose there are also child eyes of fixed points in both the rear seats i doubt you will be able to fit even the the child seat out here you can just again you know push the passenger seat in the front and sort of put the child seat in here and there are also uh, hooks given on both the sides on the driver and the passenger side seat so that is to put your seat belts in here because these doors on the mustang are so long which is why the seat belts are quite far behind so the solution to that is you can put this seat belt into these hooks so that every time it's available when you are driving but in order to come out of the car if there is someone in the rear seat then yeah they have to remove that belt and then 
you can fold these seats and come out of the door another way to enjoy these rear seats for just one passenger is to yeah basically get in here fold your legs put the roof down and enjoy this way although yeah it's slightly dangerous but if you're going to be just sitting somewhere then you can still utilize this way so the ford mustang gt convertible is powered by a 5 liter v8 engine that produces 460 brake horsepower and 529 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to a 10 speed select shift transmission 10 speed yeah which is why when you go into the panel mode yeah you're gonna have a lot of shifting work to do but yeah let me come to that later on so that this engine is like yeah it's one of the best that i have heard from any lineup because look at hear that rumbling <laughs> this is not even before that i have opened up the flap the the way to do that is i'll just go into this pony mode which is this button and then i press the exhaust and i put it in the race track and now suddenly it just becomes super loud but a fun one and not just that let me come first to the engine so the thing is the engine tends to be a little erratic at the lower end it takes a little while to start delivering that power and once you start doing that it's, it's pretty smooth that way but yeah it's just that that at lower end which is why the exhaust is there to keep you entertained but it's only when you actually reach a substantial rpm it's when it starts delivering that bridge power and torque and then you come to this 10 speed gearbox now the thing is sometimes i find this gearbox to be too quick to you know keep changing the gears because sometimes it just wants to just quickly go into let's say the seventh and the eighth gear and then when you want the power let me show you so right now i'm just cruising and i know i'm in the eighth gear and when i yeah it takes a little while to shift to the third gear because that's the only thing but yeah there is that bit of a delay from that side but i mean it's all right because there's always that exhaust to keep you entertained there are also different sport modes i mean driving modes so when you press this into let's say i want to go into the the maximum which is the track mode and then yeah things become livelier with that exhaust tune now the engine also matches in terms of the response your dashboard lights up with a different display but yeah it's slightly confusing nonetheless now the thing is this v8 in terms of its efficiency on if you're going to be cruising around then it's going to deliver anywhere between 8 to 9 kilometers per liter but when you're going to be very enthusiastic with your throttle response then this thing is going to return a pretty meager four to five kilometers per liter but you can yeah do that as well if you want to which is go sidewards and have a little bit of fun that way but <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna come to that because that is all possible so you have a rear wheel drive on this mustang gt convertible which is what gives it a little bit of that and the thing is when you make a normal road going car into a convertible you have to chop off the roof and which is why it makes the chassis a little softer that way when you are going to be driving it and most of the times you will even start to feel some of the vibrations that tend to kick in from the chassis or into the interior and in your seat and you can feel that vibrations going around and on this also it feels a little floppy that way when when it's trying to yeah especially when the roof is also down you can even feel it more and the thing is this car also weighs a lot which is 1735 kilograms even though there definitely are some bracing which is what makes the chassis a little more robust but yeah it's still yeah there is that bit of vibration and that vibration also carries on into the steering because this steering also yeah though it feels decent in terms of its response but yeah there is a lot of vibration that happens horizontally also and yeah the vertically also so when you put your hands on the steering wheel you can pretty much read the entire road surface from the steering wheel even including all the 
abnormalities on the surface so yeah and also in terms of the overall turning the radius the turning radius itself is pretty big on this one on the mustang and in terms of the overall ability to turn around yeah that also takes a little while to respond but yeah once it does it's it's kind of yeah pretty fun that way when you get a grasp of how it reacts now when you come to the paddle shifters you can just take the control by just pressing the paddle shifters so when you do that there are never pops or bangs but yeah it's always that grumbling loud bassy noise from that exhaust which is always fun and I, for a while yeah I, I just don't mind if there isn't any sound or pops or bangs but it's just this because this is a very even rumble that you get from the engine and that's sometimes more fun <laughs> now when you come to the suspensions they are also on the softer side which is what makes this a little more softer in terms of the day-to-day -day approach there is some amount of roll so let me show you by doing a slalom test and when I do that yeah the whole chassis sort of feels like it's twisting around when I am doing that and it's quite evident it's not like just normal it's pretty evident from when you try to just do that and right now I'm in the track mode which is why my traction control is also switched off and everything is dialed up completely which is what is giving me the maximum performance from this and also you can change the exhaust valve which I have mentioned before by pressing the if you are in just the normal mode you can do that as well and you can just change the sound of the exhaust if you don't want to put it into the sport mode now when you come to the brakes you get four disc brakes on this Ford Mustang but the pedal travel is a little weird because initially there is just so much of response like the moment you just dab or touch the brakes yeah it just grips those those brakes very quickly so let me do uh, 100 to 0 emergency stop yeah because there's so much of weight so it takes a little longer also to stop in terms of the stopping distance so that is also a little longer but yeah that that's that pedal setup feels a little on the harder side also and not just that when you press the the brakes as i mentioned yeah it's slightly more sensitive than yeah the usual longer pedal travel that you would find now when you come to the noise and the vibrations because there is a fabric roof which has been given on this one which is why you can pretty much hear a lot of noise road going noise specifically and when there is a windy day or there's traffic around yeah that roof tends to leak a lot of noise into the cabin and also when it's a windy day there's some amount of washing from these windows around and yeah but that is compensated by this engine sound which is a sweet rumbling one that you get <laughs> yeah this is the this is the factor that yeah compensates for everything and not just that there's one more feature which is obviously the convertible feature so let me so in order to do that all you have to do is you have to go really very very slow and about less than five kilometers so now when i do that um, i think it's not gonna do it so yeah while on the move let's start doing it and oops yeah i'm i'm more than five so which is why it's not doing it and let me now Try to put it down because this is what this car is for this is what you're paying for the convertible and you got to use the convertible feature of this and once you do that this is the perfect situation the sun setting in in the backdrop convertible and that sweet sounding engine now just makes a lot more sense with the v8 yeah but although once you start crossing fair speed i would say then yeah there's also a bit of that waviness that comes in with the the chassis sort of dancing around a little bit the car yeah tends to be a little softer after that 
because of the wind blowing around and now that rumbling is more evident it's not the artificial rumbling or anything it's actually the exhaust rumbling that you hear when you put the roof down now when you come to the safety systems there are lots of safety systems on this one as standard which is your six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags for the driver and the passenger there are two curtain airbags also there is also child isofix points in both the rear seats which i mentioned there is also the tire pressure monitoring system there is also the traction control system there is also the blind spot warning system there is also adaptive cruise control there is also the front and the rear passenger warning if there is someone in the front there is also the collision warning that you get and there is also various other safety systems there is also a single camera reversing system the output from that is a little grainy and slightly choppy i would say because the frame rate is not exactly very smooth but still it's pretty decent in terms of you know getting that because yeah it's highly needed for a car this big when you're reversing you need that camera system now when you come to the pricing this ford mustang gt convertible is priced at 239000 dirhams and the thing is for that price you still get a pretty big car and with a lot of loaded tech and yeah a little bit of advancement in terms of the technology also but more importantly it's that rumbling that you get from that V8 and let's be honest these are pretty much the dying breed now and it's just about time when these also would go out of existence so this is the best time to enjoy while they last and not just that it's the convertible so the hair blowing in your wind is another level of enjoyment and now you can even hear sometimes some pops and crackles happening in the exhaust yeah that also what you get with this convertible and the thing is the mustang name itself is such an iconic name you don't need to introduce anyone to this car like the moment you roll in this one everyone's pretty much going to know that anyways that's pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe